see how easy that just came off. Can we just appreciate how good Kai is looking at the moment? And Jeff's like, please hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> She's standing on a hill so she looks so awkward. I'm pretty sure Kai is bigger than her. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's right, I'm the big one now. You can't tell because she's standing on a hill. Here, turn around, turn around. Kai, you turn too. He's like, nah, I sniff her. Here, look. Again, it's hard to tell. Uh, but I think he's more bum high than she. Kai, no! Don't chew that! No! Anyway, we're going to pony Kai off him. Her, ooh, that, all that hair that just came off. Nice. Kai is filthy. Okay, so before we get into this video, this video was filmed about a month or two ago. I don't know, all I can tell is that it was a lot warmer there at this stage because Jep is not fluffy really and neither is Kai. Um, this was actually in between Sydney Royal and Bathurst Royal, which I'll talk about later. But this is the first time I had ponied Kai off Jep on the road. However, I'd done it many times just in our paddocks and he had never really put a foot wrong like ever he never did anything stupid or dangerous I mean he had a few moments where he's like what is happening but I knew he'd be great for this and I know that Jep is just fantastic so I knew she'd be amazing with this um I showed you at the start what kind of way I had him done up around the horn as you can see it can easily be done uh, undone if he pulls enough on it I just did it like that so I could keep the rope out of my way and had my hands free if I was able to. Um, but yeah, so he is a lot bigger than this now actually. I'm just looking at it. He's actually grown quite a lot since this video. It Well, not really grown but matured a little bit more. But anyway, I'll just let you guys watch it. So as I said, we've done this before. Let's go. So I'll get Kai closer to me. Now, if we stop for a sec, might. No light in the distance, we were shadows holding on. horn of the saddle loosely and then I've draped the rest of the lead rope just across her back there if he pulls on this it will loosen but this is just a little bit of an insecure just a bit of a security thing so um, I can have him walking nicely and I can let him go see what he pulled then and it loosened so I'm just gonna pull it back up a bit just so there's not all this extra lead next to us and halt, halt, good, walk on. So Kai's been across the road, down the roads a few times, um, just hand walking. Um, this is the first time doing it under, doing it ponying off Jeff. But yeah, he's walked up and down these roads many, many times. This is a very, very, very quiet country road. The only people that actually come down this road are people who live here because it goes nowhere. <laughs> so I know that he'll be all right and that they're, and I know he's okay with cars. So I would not be doing this if I knew he was funny with cars. Hold up, good boy. That's a bit better, mate. And of course, I would not be doing it off a horse I did not trust completely. I trust Jeff 100% to do this. I know Jeff is perfect to do this on. I know her very, very, very well. And she is probably one of the best horses you can get to pony off. <laughs> She's very good at it. She's good at putting up with his crap as well. The 
sun is rising, here we are I didn't think we'd come this far I just feel it well, This is truly where I belong Making my way down Ocean Drive Hungover It is also about 2 o'clock on a Tuesday <laughs> So we will not have many people, if any, driving past us But even if we do, I know Kai is great with cars of course I know Jeff is amazing with cars, Jeff goes past tractors and trucks, semi-trailers and things like that and she doesn't even flinch, she's great with them so she can set a good example for him. He's pretty good with cars, he can be a bit wary but nothing that I know I won't be able to handle on a horse. So as you can see he's relaxed a lot now, I'm just holding this loosely just in case he were to spook or anything. But he's walking very comfortably now, aren't ya? He's relaxed, he's not trying to overtake Jep. She's also walking a bit faster now, which is good. So I've done this a few times in the paddock as well, just before taking it out onto the road. I am in my western saddle. Um, saddle pad is there. I did, didn't put it far enough forward but it's still padding enough so the saddle doesn't, um, is still sitting on it kind of thing. Um, a lot of people ask me why I don't use this saddle much mainly because it fits Jeff with the wires and everything. It's just a bit long on her back so I don't use it that often. Um, I'm hoping it will fit Kai. It's got the horn so I can have my lead rope around it. It's got the horn so I can have him ponied off it. So I'm just gonna walk up the road and back. Jeff hasn't been ridden for a week because I've been away for um, Sydney Royal. So I wanted to just get her leg stretching. I didn't wanna do a hard ride or anything. Just wanted to ease her back into this. And plus she's on a bit of a break until after Bathurst Royal where I'm just doing trails and keeping it nice and easy rides just because she's been so good this show season and she deserves a bit of a cruisy few rides after her time off and because we don't have any shows. But yeah, and because um, I knew she'd be fine to do this for her first ride. Jep's good to bring back into work. She doesn't get spooky or fresh or anything like that. The most she'll get is a bit strong, but I know Jep would be fine with this. Like, I know her. I know that she could do this after a week off. As you can see, Jep is like the best horse to um, get youngsters going on. She's really good. She's just one of those horses that you can just put anything off her <laughs> and she'll take it all in her stride. She puts up with Kai pretty well. And as you can see, Kai is just really, really She's good anyway. so dramatic, post a caption, I say no regrets. But that's just a cover up, I know the truth, I lie to tech. Yeah. You slept on me, collected season, now that keep you up at night. That shit keep you up at night. Did you see that guys? Did you see how well he took that? That's his first ever truck. And this is why I am okay with doing it on him, on this road. So that's the only thing that's gone past us. Hey, hey. <laughs> that's the only thing that's gone past us. No cars or anything on this ride. And it was a big truck. As you know, trucks are loud. They're not quiet things. And he just took that so well he got off the road with me onto the bit of grass and didn't even move didn't even look at it <laughs> did ya
Very, very good. So on that note, I'm taking them both back. Hey, no. See how well she takes him though? Look at him. <laughs> He's nipping her, getting a bit playful, and she's just fine. It's why when you're doing this with any horse, but especially youngsters and unbroken and um, unbroken horses, you need to make sure that you're doing it on a horse that you know will put up with all their crap. All right, get back, get back, leave her alone. I know, you just wanna be friends. You just wanna play. The flies are getting so bad. I should have put fly spray on, but it's because we just went past the dairy. So we picked up a lot of flies at the dairy. The flies weren't too bad at home. Oh, there's a car coming. So we'll go off here. Because this one has a trailer. We'll put him. This time we have time. Again, trailer this time. Took that really well. It's good when you have people like this though, that slow down. So he took that pretty well. It was a bit tough getting him to stand where I wanted him to stand, but it's all right. He put up with it and that's what mattered. He doesn't spook. So trailers are similar to trucks, you know, they make that sound. Then when they went past us, they had a dog barking at the end of it, but he took it really well. Stop biting her. I'm so sick of talking about this, about that. Cause everyone knows how to talk. But they don't know how to love. I don't need any more gifts. We didn't have a very long ride. I mean, it was just a walk, so it probably took a bit longer, but we just walked down the end of this that way and back um now we'll go straight home i didn't want to do a very long ride with her anyway this is great it really th it's really good for her especially because kai's not little anymore you can probably tell he's a bit bigger than her now so it's pretty good for her he's still not as strong as she is obviously but very proud of the two of you you two little fatties during that <laughs> it's just funny that they had to be those kind of vehicles because we don't really because that truck came from the dairy but because normally it'd just be cars <laughs> not trailers and trucks but I mean it's good for him he put up with it really well and that's what I want and we're home <laughs> together aren't ya all right do you want some food look at Kai's fat belly <sighs> see how easy that just came off <sighs> okay come on kids you just stay there for a sec Jep 
I'll get Kai sorted, and then I'll get you sorted. Ah. He's like, I walk into her. Move your tush. Move your tush. <laughs> Little fatty. I think I might give Kai a bit of a wash just because he is filthy. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a vlog. Bye!